Gusto kayo lahat. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. We got Marky Mark with the scarf. And we got our special guest for today, Norman Panola in the red. If you don't know, now you know. But listen, thank you guys for joining us. If you haven't followed our social media, follow us on at Pinoy Crossover. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, thank you for joining us, Norman. Thank you for having me um, again. Again, yeah. Again, but yes, yes. We're going to play a different game with you this time. Okay. It's not your shooting game. I know that's your element, <laughs> but we're going to test your mind. All right. All right. So our first game is called, what is it? What did you name this, Mark? Showdown. Pinoy Crossover Showdown. Pinoy Crossover Showdown. So let's take it to the game floor. Ah, okay. No fouls in here. Foul play. Welcome to the game floor. Pinoy Crossover Showdown. PJ, your ref. Naman. All right, here we go. Here's the questions. You will say it at the same time, then explain. First question. Who's been the most surprising team that was expected to be awful this season? Magic, Knicks, or 76ers? On three. Three, two, one. Sixers. Oh, okay, let's go with Norman first. Explain your rationale. I say the Knicks uh, because um, first thing when you say Knicks, my first thing comes to mind is just Porzingis. Who else, right? Mm -hmm. So um, they did add uh, what, Ramon Sessions, Jared Jack. Uh, I think I think they recently they added uh, Courtney Lee to that roster. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to my point, like uh, Porzingis, is he gonna carry the load by himself? I never like you know, is he gonna bring this team to a playoff uh, playoff spot? So surprisingly, everyone's been clicking. Everyone's been hitting their shots. The rookie they drafted, Frank. I don't know his last name. I can't pronounce the last name. He's been uh, playing really good basketball too. Mm -hmm. So, for for from what they've been doing right now with their win streak and Brzing is playing out of his mind, man, I know I never knew they'd be like this this high right now. Mm -hmm. They're playing this well as well. So, I'm saying the Knicks. Okay, you good good rationale. You Mark? I think that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because because. I don't think that's sustainable because I don't think Porzingis can play that well. He's injury prone, mm. but I'm trusting the process. The process is finally completed. Well, mm. not yet because Fultz is coming back. <laughs> Once he starts playing, it's almost complete. But this team has been so exciting, not because of the fact that Joel Embiid is playing out of his mind, but Simmons has been the most impressive rookie. I know he's not great, like, a, like a rookie, but this guy is legit. He, this guy can handle the ball. This guy can play defense. This guy can do everything on the dance on the floor <laughs> he dances on the floor that's how mm. good he was with his hand and he just can't shoot mm. but the thing is that they have veterans and they have good role players that makes this and they're playing the right way now and they're playing under brett brown which is one of the disciples of greg popovich that's why they've been so fun to watch because they have a, a good guy like simmons that moves the ball and they have shooters like covington and jj reddick that just makes it so fun to play and they're winning because yes, they're, they're trusting the process all right. I don't know what the <laughs> I'll choose. That was a very long answer, and you mentioned faults. I hate faults because his shot's ugly. I'm so biased. Uh, Przingis, you know I was biased with Przingis. His shoulder the unicorn. Get better, yeah. The unicorn. I'm gonna give that to Norman. Watch New York. Brup, brup. It's I don't not, want to hear anything. It's not his yeah, fault. Looking at the Sixers, I knew they were going to do good. It's, it's not his fault. Yeah, I know exactly what he said. New York, you knew they were going to yeah, up. Nobody yeah. thought they were going to play this ball. Okay, stop. We have to stop, guys. I'll just give you all teas over here. All right, here we go. Which top team would she? Would, whoa, which, <laughs> which top team should we worry more in the East? The Cavs or the Clippers? On three. Three, two, one. Clippers. What the heck? Right, we're gonna kill that question. Well, you said East, but you said you just had a West team. You said Cavs or Clippers. Okay, who wrote this? Hey, next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> this guy called me out. <laughs> T, sit in your corner. Here we go. Last question. Some technical free throw. Which young star would you build your team around? Ben Simmons, Giannis, or Pazingas? On three. Three, two, one. Giannis. Simmons. Oh, okay, Mark, I'll let you start first. Go ahead. I'll really take Simmons because Simmons can do three things. Pass the ball, rebound, score the basketball, play defense, and he's got the mind of a leader. I think he can lead a team, and he's got that magic flow. He's got that magic persona in him, and anyone who's got that magic persona can lead a team to a championship. I don't know if Giannis can do that because Giannis is mainly a scorer first. I know he can do a lot of things, but he's a scorer first, 
and his shot is broken. Well, Simmons, he just needs a little tweak in his shot and he can make it happen. But that magic, magic persona, that magic touch, that magic, you know, made the Showtime so exciting and won many championships, that's what you want to build around. You want to build around a player that can win your championship. And there's no player in those three that can do what magic did to the Lakers than Simmons. All right, Norm. Giannis the Greek freak because, uh, only because of what he's uh, been doing right now, he's killing it for Milwaukee. He's been averaging like 30 plus a game. He's 6'11", super long, um, can rebound. He can do everything Simmons can do, but I will give Simmons the, the, the passing, the basketball IQ um, aspect. But other than that, I, I say uh, Giannis. If you want to build around a team around a player, Giannis is that guy. He's playing well, but they're not winning. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I donn't know the record. Was. So tie, guys.